Hey everybody, we're back out here in the Brutal Blades workshop. Okay, here's the day to, here's the deal today. I told you the other day I was going to make a camp style knife or a chopper or some kind of thing. And so we're going to go ahead and work on getting that all cut out and the basic profile put in today. That's my goal. I want to get the basic profile cut out of this steel. Um, this is a high carbon steel that I really like using. Um, and it works really well. So we're gonna go ahead and measure it out. I'm gonna go for about an 18 inch overall blade. If I'm not mistaken, that's about where I want my dimensions. Yeah, that'd be about right. Um, kind of gonna be a mix of a camp knife and a buoy. We're gonna kind of go and split the difference there. Okay, so this is gonna put it at being just shy of um, 12 inches on the blade so
side. That might be a little better. All right, there we go. Okay, we're back in the workshop. So what are we doing today? Well, I just got done basically shaping out this next piece, and I did it all with the cutoff wheel, but I don't know. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. You grab a cutoff wheel, you clamp everything up, ying, 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 you go. All right, so, where are we at? Design. Might be why my fan don't work no more. Um, is a combination camp, Bowie, style blade um, just putting it in the water to cool it off real quick it was kind of hot okay there we go this camp Bowie style blade it's all cut out now I just got to do the rough grind and all that on the um, on the belt sander here but I want to knock off some of this stuff I've got chipped up You might wonder why I'm not using one of my bigger hammers, and that's just because this is perfectly fine and perfectly suited to what I'm trying to do. It'll do this job nicely without me worrying about destroying my uh, project here by inducing cracks or anything like that. This is per this little rivet hammer is actually perfect for it. So there we go use a screwdriver to help it along you can see the back side's really rusty but it's not a big deal it's going to be a hefty knife but it should be a very high functioning blade i'm going to go ahead and cut off these lights a little see if that helps with some of the temperature issues i'm having out here in the shop if you guys can still see that's what we'll do Ooh, it's kind of dark okay i have to leave my overhead on didn't want to do it I don't avoid it. Excuse me, just didn't work. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm gonna
and finish up the foot or butt of the blade with the belt grinder. It was steaming hot and still is. So let's go ahead and pop this out. guys I'm gonna try and keep all my videos under 30 minutes just for upload sake but as you can see we got the rough profile shaped in I've got a slight recurve to the belly that I kind of like going on here um, clip point came out perfect so I mean for 30 minutes of work plus time it took me to cut out the actual piece of steel I'm not overall too mad about it as it stands, it's really nice and comfortable in the hands. And I think this will be something that uh, I could comfortably take in the woods and do some serious chopping with. So, you guys, thanks for watching. As always, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, share. Um, I will post as many of these videos as I can every freaking week and day. Um, I'm going to cut this light off. So that way I can cool off my shop because it is ridiculously hot in here I don't know if you guys can tell but I am sweating bullets right now. I'm also covered in nastiness So Long story short. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna go inside and get some food I'm gonna get some water in me. I'm gonna try and relax and enjoy a little bit of the day. Thanks for watching